today we will discuss about some sort of series okay here you in the board you can uh, see some series are there here this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is 2 4 6 8 and 10 20 30 here many series are there just we will analyze what is this okay here we will have one number and another number the distance between those two we call it as in general we call it as a jump size okay jump size we will see the jump size here here 1 to 2 jump size is 1 2 to 3 jump size is 1 here jump size is 1 so further means the same pattern will be following okay here the jump size is 2 here also it is jump size 2 and again here also jump size is 2 while well, coming to this example jump size is 10 here also 10 and so on here again 2 here what is the jump size can you tell it is minus 1 okay here also it is minus 1 jump size need not be positive always and it is not restricted to 1 2 or any real number it may be anything here what is the jump size here it is 8 and here is it is 2 and here it is 2 and if I write 14 here if the jump size is 1 see students if you analyze all those things these are all following some patterns some logical series some logical sequence it is maintaining what is that the distance difference between these two numbers I mean consecutive numbers are same in the last example we are not having the consecutive the jump size of the consecutive numbers are not same correct so these are all following some pattern in the example what we have saw they are following some pattern some logical pattern they are following see some are multiples of two some are all consecutive natural numbers so we are having uh, 10 10 difference the difference i mean jump size may be negative may be positive anything it may be okay so now we will check what are the non pattern series see in this example the jump size of here it is 1 but here it is 3 no need to check the other term whether the, that is 1 or 3 whatever it is if the jump size differs then we will declare this is not a series not a series I mean you are thinking it is in series no why ma'am is telling it is not a series means actually in series and sequence we will define three types of series one is arithmetic series and we call that as AS simply we will write it as AS and another one is geometric series and the third one is harmonic series only three these three are the major another uh, series are there Fibonacci series and more are there usually arithmetic series or arithmetic progression you have studied already in the syllabus of first year PUC you will study geometric series and uh, harmonic progression and what I said Fibonacci series that you will study in your higher classes okay we will concentrate on arithmetic series now okay in the first one I have written 1, 2, 3, 4 by separating that by a simple comma. Okay. In the second one, I have 1 plus 2 plus 3. So, I am adding uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3, adding those numbers. If I write uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 separated by a comma, that is called a sequence. If I write a summation symbol uh, from between the numbers, we call it as a series. Okay. So, this is series. So, we call it as an arithmetic progression also, progress, why we call it as a progression means it will progress, Three, either this dot will take up to infinity, so this is uh, the same pattern will be followed till infinity, we call it as a progression as it is progressing, progress, progress report all and all you know right, it is progress. Now, we will call uh, this arithmetic progression, the first one as A1, okay, this is as a2 this is a3 and so on so the last term will be last term will be an okay you might have solved many problems by stating find the nth term of the series nth term an like that so how to find the nth term of the series you know you are uh, know the formula an is equal to 
a plus n minus 1 into d. Let us check the series. Here a means the first term. So here a is equal to 1. d is the common difference. Common difference what I said that is a jump size. So this is this is also 1 or else you are having the another way to find the common difference. How? By subtracting the consecutive terms. Sub by subtracting the consecutive terms. That this 2 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 4 minus 3. Like that you have to find the uh, find the value of d that you have done already. So now let us find for n is equal to some 20. I am finding what is 20th term for this series a 20 in place of n I have to substitute 20 a is 1 here 20 minus 1 d is also 1. So 1 plus this is 19 into 1 so this is 20. This is a very simple example. Let us take another example 2 5 8 11 here we will write a what is a already I have said it is the first entry that is 2 and d is the common difference or jump size here it is 3. So, let us find n is equal to some 19th term. Okay. You all know the formula now a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. a is 2 and n is 19 minus 1 and the difference is 3. So, 2 plus 18 into 3. So, what is 18 3s are that is 54 so, answer is 56. So, 19th term of this is 56. Okay. So, general form of AP we will write it as A, A plus D, A plus D. As you know, A is a first term and D is the common difference. And the nth term of AP is AN. Usually, we will denote it by TN also. A plus N minus 1 into D. And then if you want some of the uh, progression, arithmetic progression or arithmetic series, we will write it as Sn, sum, S stands for sum to n terms. We want, uh, we are having n by 2 into a plus n. Here you are uh, thinking what is L? L is nothing but the last term. In the above example, we have written the last term, no, a plus n minus 1 into d. That we will substitute and this a and this a will add up, we will get n by 2 will retain as it is. This is 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This all about today's session. Namaste.